everyone, welcome back to my book reviews. My name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews and today we are talking this book. Oh my gosh, Wonderland. I am so happy that I have the hardcover of this book. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's look at the inside. I love looking at the... Mm, sometimes I'll have like little things imprinted on it. Oh, but look at... I do like the binding. Look at that. That's beautiful. So anyway, why did I love this book so much? Oh my gosh, there is so much to love about this book. I'm gonna put the cover back on so we can look at the cover again. This is a friendship story. It's about two girls growing up in pre-war Germany, okay? And it's generational. It's like a friendship story and then it's generational because it also starts in the very beginning with the daughter. Okay, so the two friends are Ilsa, and I don't know how to say this name. I was actually going to look it up, and it's spelled um, Renat, R-E-N-A-T-E, -E. but I, I say Renat, and I'm like, Renee? Let's just go with Renee. I'm going to go with Renee. And um, so the beginning of the book starts with Ilsa's daughter, Ava, and Ava, I got to try not to tell you too much. I always get so excited and then I start just spouting things off and I don't want to do that. So um, it starts off with Ava's relationship with Ilsa, her mother, okay? And um, she finds these letters. I don't want to say how. And then she finds out all this stuff about her mom. And But we also get this from so many points of views and then timelines, okay? So Ava's timeline is in 1989. I think that's what I wrote down, yeah. And then, of course, their um, timeline with Renee and Ilsa is back in the 30s. And Ilsa joins the Youth Hitler organization. And Renee is half Jewish. So, you know, before there was even, when they're, they're childhood friends, okay? Before there's even a difference, before Ilsa and Renee even understand the differences between them, um, they come to light then. So, we get this book, Wonderland. And look at that cover. And so you know Ilsa is in the front and that Renee's in the back, I think. Because Ilsa's like 100% German. And so I'm picturing that, you know, I think it even says in the story that she's blonde. So anyway, let's just go through some of my comments, right? And I'm going to try not to talk too long. Um, the beginning, like I said, starts with Ava in 1989. I love when books do that. I love when they start in the beginning and then they kind of take us back. And that's exactly what Jennifer does here. And, um, I always write down like to tell about the cons. And I was really thinking about this this morning because I know I get a hard time from you guys because I don't say many cons, but like, I couldn't think of any, I could not think of any cons. Okay. Sorry. I would love to say that I could find a con, but I really didn't. It was a page turner. I couldn't wait to get to the next timeline. I didn't even become attached to one or the other timeline, which is also unusual because a lot of times when I'm reading books on timelines, I'll like, oh, I can't wait to get back. But I didn't find that. I kept waiting to get back because each one I loved so much and I loved Ava. So, sorry. <laughs> Sorry that there are no cons. Um, nothing offensive. Um, I couldn't find anything offensive. It's pure. It, it, this book is amazing. And, you know, high school girls could read this book. No problem. And the reason I say girls is just because it's a girl story. Because it's about friends. So I, I don't know. I'll have to, you have to leave me a comment if you are a guy and you read this book. Because I'd really like to know that. Because I think there are guys out there that do like to read these books. But... I always assume it's just women. Pros, so many pros, okay? So many pros. Jennifer, you did an amazing job. I love these characters. I'm attached to these characters. The ending is unbelievable. Unbelievably great. Um, I, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what I thought the ending was gonna be like, but it's not how I thought. So I'm gonna say that. I don't give away endings, but I envisioned it happening a different way. And then it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. This book is 384 pages, which for historical fiction is really not that long. Uh, World War II, it's Jennifer's third novel. I was actually shocked when I went back to look because 
I wasn't really keeping track as I was reading it. And then when I looked on um, Amazon, I was like, oh yeah, I guess it was over 350 pages, but it read so fast. Okay. So I, I didn't even notice. It's like almost 400 pages and I didn't even notice, but um, there we go. I think that's, it. it came out April 23rd. It's been out less than a month. This book is doing amazing. I'm seeing it all over the place. So I just want to say, go read it. If you love World War II historical fiction and still finding out things that I didn't know, Jennifer's research is so good. I mean, to read about the Hitler youth and the things that kids were going through in school, I, I love this story so much. And I'm so happy that I have the hardcover. So go get the book. Leave me a comment if you read it, if you want to read it, if, um, you know, whatever. I love reading your comments. So thank you so much. Please hit like and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I come out with videos every day. Have a great day, everyone.